What's up guys, Doug Coke here, and welcome back for another episode of Poker Hands. And today we're going to be taking a look at a hand from these super high roller cash games from Triton Poker. Much like one of the last hands that we covered from this game, this is a straddle, restraddle, crazy high stakes hand right out of the gate. So let's go ahead and jump into the action. Hey everyone, teasing JRB. It's going to be okay. No, it is. You already got away with the ace queen no, offsuit. No, no. Yeah, uh, they had a queen offsuit uh, last day, right? Uh, Tom, tell me the truth. Uh, I did not have ace queen. Well, you had the queen to draw it, right? <laughs> That's true. Okay, boys. When you get 68, you never have any cards. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that I have a slight edge over Robert who's asleep. <laughs> Robo is raising 35,000. Romain is getting a good price yeah. to see a flop. 78,000. I'm a in college at Oklahoma State University says I don't care who wins or loses. Our hand begins in Korean one blinds of 1 million, 2 million with a 2 million big blind ante. We also have a straddle to 4 million, a re straddle to 8 million, and a re re straddle to 16 million. You know, just pretty run of the mill stuff. That makes the big blind in this hand effectively 13,000 US dollars. Now, I don't know what the biggest stakes game that's ever happened on TV has been, but uh, this one's got to be close. Anyway, because of all of these ridiculous straddles, action's going to start on Robo on the button who looks down at Queen Ten of Diamonds. Not a bad situation. You're very deep stacked. In fact, Robo has a billion dollars in chips. Not something you'd hear, you'd think you'd hear very often. And decides to open the action for 35 million. Now, this is a uh, fairly small sized raise given the size of the blinds. Uh, I might want to see something a little bit larger. Now, uh, the thing is, all of these stacks are very, very deep. And so, if you do decide to raise this to a more normal 40, 45 million, it's not like players can be jamming over your open anyway. If stacks were shorter, you might want to consider that. So I'd like to see this raise be more like 40, 45, 50 million, especially when we have so many players willing to play very, very, very loose against this raise. Now, luckily for Robo, there are lots of garbagey hands along the way here that are going to let this go. Hands like Queen 4 suited, hands like Queen 7 offsuit, hands like Jack 7 offsuit. And really, everyone gets out of the way over to Romain in the highest blind straddle in the cutoff with King 7 offsuit. Now, uh, this is a bit of an interesting situation because he is actually getting fairly good odds here to call given that the raise is so small. So I don't actually hate the idea of calling and taking a flop, which he decides to go for, and let's take a flop. As long as somebody gets hurt, and gets hurt bad. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever get hurt? He, no, never. <laughs> it was too rich to get hurt? No, I, I no, dodge the bullets. I dodge the bullets. I'm only a limited player. You know, I'm a, oh, I was I won the tournament in 1622. What about said. the guy that said it? Did he ever get hurt? I don't know. I, I didn't see him after I was 24. <laughs> that was a great. He was a banker's son. So Rob was going to continuation, but his flush draw. Romain does have the best hand currently of King High. Does he want to make a play? Wow. Actually going to call out a position with just King 7 High. The flop comes 9-5 forward two diamonds, and Romain checks over to Robo, who's flopped a flush draw up against King High. Now, sure, at this exact moment, Romain is in the lead with his King 7 if it went to showdown and improved, but Robo has a ton of outs. Obviously, he can hit a flush or top pair or even some backdoor straights, and more importantly, his hand is going to play well, play well in later streets, where Romain's not going to have that same luxury. Anyway, Romain does decide to check it over to Robo, who decides to go for a bet of 40 million. I don't mind this play. It's a little bit under half pot. Seems like a very reasonable sized bet here with a lot of hands that Robo might have. Again, Robo's range should be much stronger because he has to raise into so many players, where Romain's range should have plenty of weaker hands because he's simply getting such a good price pre-flop. Anyway, this is where the hand starts to get a little bit weird because this is a very clear fold, right? You have, you're up against a lot of strong hands. You have a lot of better hands in your range. You have no pair, no draw, king high. But Romain has different plans here. That's right. He goes ahead and goes for the check call, planning on making some moves on later streets. Now, 
in position, this type of thing is a little bit better, right? You can more sensibly bluff in spots that make sense, and maybe your opponent has to play a little more timid out of position. But when you're out of position, if they bet the turn, you lose unless you've improved a showdown value. So not exactly sure what he's got cooking. Let's see what happens in the turn. Turn card is Tom, do you ever watch Caddy Shack? Yeah. That was a good one. When the Judd's going down the first hole with the Caddy? I don't know if I'm going to remember specific scenes. No, you remember this one. All right. So the Caddy, like, coached him into, like, one under par after five holes? And the Judge looked at him and said, you're really a good Caddy. He says, well, thank you, sir. Thank you, Judge. He says, by the way, I'm... I want to go to college next year. Could you help me out? I said, no, son. The world needs ditches, ditch diggers. <laughs> I mean, that's terrible, right? It's pretty rough. <laughs> right. So Robo checks back queen high. The turn comes a deuce, creating a backdoor flush draw. Now Romain checks once again. In Robo's shoes here now, does he want to fire that second bullet? And overall, I think the answer is yes. When you have hands like Queen 10 of Diamonds, these tend to make nice hands to bet twice and give up the river, unless you get some really nice rivers to bluff. And the reason is simple, because you have a flush draw. When the flush draw bricks, it's now less likely your opponent also has a flush draw that would fold the river. You typically want to bluff with hands that are more like missed straight draws or overcard hands that don't have a diamond in them. So a lot of the flush draw hands make a lot of sense for betting, tw betting twice and looking to check the river. River. There are also some really good things about betting the turn here. If your opponent has a hand like just a five or a four, they might choose to let it go unless it's some kind of pair plus straight draw or pair plus flush draw. Also, if your opponent decided to float the flop with, I'm just going to pick something crazy here. Let's just say king seven, you know, some total random thing that's not even possible. But let's just say it happened. They would fold that too. Now, Robo can't count on his opponent having a hand like that, but it will show up from time to time and should be something you consider when you're thinking about betting the turn. Anyway, Robo does decide to check back the turn, and let's take a river. River card is the four. So Romain's got the showdown value. As long as he doesn't fold, he will win this pot. I miss Robert. I do. Right? No. Yeah, let's text him together. Join text, put it on the thing. Romain is wondering if he should bet. Wait, two million. I'll take 500. You take 500. Robo's stuck with the million. <laughs> Deal. By the way, I may have played that 5-3, but I wasn't here, so I don't know how it came up. The river is the four of hearts completing the backdoor flush shot, but that doesn't help either one of our players. In fact, they've both rivered absolutely nothing. And this is a great hand to think about because of that. So often in poker, both players have really weak hands, and whoever has the gusto to go for it is going to take it down. Whoever is willing to fire that last bet, well, they're the guy that might win the pot. And when the stakes are high, it's time to put your foot in the gas pedal. All right, so Romain didn't bet, but, you know, he didn't have to, right? He's in the lead. Although you have to wonder how many worse hands can he have here, but the answer is a good number. He could have some straight draws, some flush draws, maybe some queen-eye floats. I mean, if he's got king-eye floats, he could have some queen-high ones as well. And so maybe if you did have a very loose flop range, it makes sense to, makes sense to construct your river range in a way where king-high just goes for its showdown value. But the problem is you have to beat the button, and really what hands can the button have you ahead of? Like... Okay, maybe some crazy like Queen Ten of Diamonds, but you know, if your opponent did have any other high card hand, they're mainly beating you unless it's perhaps one of the Queen X suited hands or Jack X suited hands, and there really aren't that many of those. Now over to Robo. Should he fire the river? And these spots can be tricky. First you think about what hands can I say I have for value? And in Robo's case, he can't have much here, right? Backdoor flush draws probably mainly fire the turn. He can't have a four opening prefop all too much into so many players. I mean, what hands can he really have? But here is the thing. This is the great thing about poker, and this is why people love live poker so much. If you know exactly what your opponent has, you might be able to make the perfect play. It's all about circumstances. Okay. If you, you, think, the, the if you think the guy's on four deuce, it's not oh that bad a play. <laughs> what do you got there? One more bullet to win. What, really what do you have? I said might. We all make mistakes sometimes.
I, I have to say, though, I enjoy how disgusted Robo looks here on the river. He uh, seems happy about things. Thank you for joining me here today for Poker Hands. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.